In this video, we're going to cover fetch types for eager versus lazy. Now, when we load data or we retrieve or fetch data, the question is, should we retrieve everything? So an eager load will pull in everything. Lazy load will retrieve data only on request. So imagine we have an instructor. An instructor has a list of courses. Depending on the loading type, that'll determine when and how the data is loaded from the database by Hibernate. And it also has an implication on your actual performance of your given app. Now with eager loading, it'll actually load all your dependent entities. So it'll load the instructor and all of their courses at once. So it'll do a one quick shot to the database, grab all the data and bring it back. Now, this may not be a big deal if you only have a small number of instructor and a small number of courses, but you could imagine if you had a lot of data out there that could actually impact the performance of your application. Now, let's take a look at another example with eager loading. So what about a course in students? So this could easily turn into a performance nightmare. So if we were to load a course and then actually load all of the students for the course, then this could possibly slow down our application or not even possibly most likely it will <laughs> slow down our application because just like the course that you're attending now a given course could have 10,000 20,000 maybe 50,000 students and we really don't need all that data at this point so in our app if we're simply searching for a course by keyword like just doing your normal search there we only want a list of matching courses, but eager loading, it will still load all the students for each course. And that's not good, right? We only want the titles or the, the descriptions of the courses, but not all of the students. So the best practice, ding, ding, ding. The best practice in the industry is to only load data when absolutely needed. So you should prefer lazy loading instead of eager loading. Now, there's always exceptions to the rule, right? And there's also special use cases. But in general, the recommendation is to prefer lazy loading over eager loading. Alrighty, so with lazy loading. So lazy loading will load the main entity first, and then it'll actually load the dependent entities on demand at a later time. So here we have a course. So it'll actually load the course first. And then when you need a list of students, then that's when it'll actually go to the database and load those students on demand. So they'll be loaded at a later time. And again, remember the preference here is on making use of lazy loading to make sure our application performs in a fast manner. So lazy loading is preferred. 